Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Elias and welcome back to Super Hostile Inferno Mines. In the last episode, we made our way to, well, the Outer Darkness. And we're ready to kind of go take on this area. Um, we have some exploring to do and uh, I do believe this takes us to the next area. So um, yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. Um, so last time we cleared out a lot of this area. There was a gas spawner down there and a bunch of stuff. There was, uh, this area kind of loops around. There are a ton of spawners around, so we do need to be careful. Uh, and a lot of them are actually hidden in the walls. Uh, so let's get across here real quick. And we did a little bit of work in this section, but, uh, yeah, one of the big things is that the stats for this area is lots of vines and lots of uh, fences, which is actually good because we're going to come up to some spiders soon we need to deal with. Uh, let's take care of him. Let's go ahead and just shoot him once. So yeah, I hear a lot of spiders. Spiders are not always good. We can get back up from there. And I heard that. Where did that creeper come from? Because he wasn't there a second ago. Is there spawners? Let's be honest, probably. Or is it something more sinister? Um, we need to keep an eye out for the vines. I, I, I just know that there is going to be... Some creepers that will come down from above. I just know it. Uh, there's no way I don't know that. Like, I, I don't remember. So I, I've seen this map played through. Um, I haven't actually played through this map completely. I've played, I've played through parts of it, um, but not everything. But I know for a fact that there are sections of this map in which there is going to be creepers coming from vines from the ceiling um, or something like that. I, I just know it, and I, I think I remember seeing it, but it could be wrong. Um, but yeah, there there's a lot of creepers in this um, in this map, so that's something to kind of remember going forward. Is we're gonna have to deal with creepers. Like this area looks like it's enticing you um, because it is. And there's creepers right there. There's probably like four or five spawners up there. Um, I almost can guarantee that. There's going to be a lot. Uh, and the problem is we're going upwards into them. Yep, there's a bunch of spawners there. Maybe not that many, but always kind of check behind you as well. Uh, let's give those spawners a little bit of a break. We'll work our way back over this way. I also heard a spider. Uh, this area could pr is probably fairly, uh, for lack of a better way to put it, loopy. Uh, it's gonna be kind of like the Caves of Confusion from, uh, what is it called? Legendary. But not as confusing. Just, you know, a little confusing. But we'll kind of see. Uh, I'm just kind of seeing if anything else spawns in this area. We should probably eat. I'd love to figure out what was going on with the creeper over here. So, and then there's always the chance that there's going to be invisible creepers. Uh, I do know for a fact that there are invisible creepers later. Um, they're charge creepers, so it's not that bad, other than the fact that they are, well, charge creepers. Um, by the way, this area, we can actually see from other areas, uh, this, like, actual section. I, I really want to say there's a spawner in this area. But maybe not. Okay, let's head back to the other side and see if we can't at least get to the loot. Um, I don't know that we're going to do too much with the loot currently. But it is good to always break spawners. 
There is another spawner right back there. Probably another one over here. No. Okay. Uh, so maybe this area just had three spawners. Let's go ahead and break that guy. And uh, the redstone torches, I do believe, are just lighting effects. Uh, the whole point of them is to kind of say, hey, come look over here. There's stuff over here. Um, and get your attention more than anything else. Armor is doing okay. Sword's doing fine. Uh, I think this area is mostly safe. I'm still going to back up into a wall. Um, okay, sword. Some wood. We'll take that. Uh, coal, bow. Take the arrows. At least refill. We have... Our inventory is pretty full currently. I will take the food, though. Uh, food is good. And we're going to actually switch to some better food. I'm going to dump everything else in here. Um, and then we're just going to look for anything that is... Like, super good food. Going to take all that. Um, plenty of coal. Take the wood. That's fine. Uh, golden apple goes up there. Um, sharpness two wood sword is not too bad actually. Um, I will come and get this stuff later. Wow, lots of food, lots of good food. Um, so yeah, I will come and get this stuff later. But uh, basically, after the the episode ends, I I do all my muling back and forth. Okay, so let's continue on. Let's make some more progress in here. Uh, so, I really do feel like there's a creeper spawner somewhere in that area. But there's some spiders down here now. Uh, is that something? No, that is just vines. Vines do look like creepers, though. Let's be super careful. Um, so, yeah, there is the bridge. And we could see this coming over here. Always look out for the vines. Um, though this might be a calm area. That's not. I don't like that sound. Um, okay, so... Those are spiders, and I didn't see the spiders I heard. They sounded like they were above us. So I want to make sure this area is nice and bright. We're good on food. We're going to rush forward. Yeah, it sounds like there's spiders right above us. Like, I see spiders over there, but I don't like this. Um, they could also be underneath. And it's a bad thing if they are. But I hear them. I hear them. Where are they? Okay. You are just a spider. I don't care about you. But you notice how they can't follow me. Like They sound like they're above or below, but they can't follow us this way. This is 100% a trap. The question is... Where and how... Does it work? Um, and most likely, if it is a trap, it's... There are so many. Okay, we're going to back up for a second. Um, there are so many spiders. Uh, so what it might be is just spawners above. Uh, and then once we get out into that open area, they come from behind us. Uh, because spiders, I think in this version, could still track you through walls. Uh, I, I believe that's the case. Um, they changed that a little bit, I think, later on. But... Uh, actually, did they ever change that? I, I think they changed that. I could be wrong on that, so don't don't take my word for it. But uh, 
Yeah, spiders at the very least. What? By the way, we have some chunk errors. You can see. See the bedrock. Um, there's some light over there. Interesting. Um, you will be able to see areas from other areas. I saw that spy that creeper. So I heard one fall. There is also creeper spawners over there. Um, because that's a second creeper. Right there. In that same general area. So I wonder if this is going to be a case of spider spawners above us. Creepers. Yeah, there's a ton of spiders right above us. But I can't see anything. I do want to kill this skeleton. And then we're going to... Yep. What I tell you. Oh yeah, so that's the trap. And there are baby spiders. Cave spiders, whatever you want to call them. I hate those things. Um, so yeah, this trap works because... And it's not that much of a trap. It, it is a trap, but... Uh, it works because, um, just work our way around and see where this is. Um, so nothing kind of comes at us from the other side. Um, there is something there. Fences. Alright, um, I saw that spider. <laughs> uh, let's get slabs on the bar. Because we can do that. And then we can kill these guys. So knowing about where it's at, we can start putting some torches up there. And hopefully that helps. So let's back up for a little bit. Um, so yeah, the reason that works is because spiders can see through walls, basically. And if they couldn't, then it wouldn't be quite as impressive. Uh, basically, the spiders wouldn't be able to do much. Uh, they'd be sitting up there until they had light aside of us, like most mobs. But since spiders can see through walls, they can give us a nice little surprise. Um, but unfortunately, we could hear them. And since I am paranoid, uh, which you have to be playing these maps, uh, you always check for traps, especially if you hear spiders. Uh, spiders, because of that little behavior of seeing the player through walls, um, are really useful for making proximity detectors. There are other ones in the newer versions, um, notably Pufferfish, I believe you can use as a proximity detector. But uh, Cave Spider Spawners, I know for a fact, is a way that Vex, the map maker, um, does the whole detecting a player. So yeah, there is at least a few spider spawners up there. There's probably some creeper spawners in this area, but what we're going to do... Because um, I saw multiple creepers. Uh, let's get a little bit of a staircase. Uh, so yeah, if you hear spiders, um, like I said, I know for a fact that Vex has in his arsenal of tricks um, a cave spider player detector. Aw, that's cute. I guess it was just one spawner. Ow, where'd you come from? That was weird. Uh, and there's something like behind here. Because we accidentally dug into this. Oh. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> references. But yeah, so because we'll get to that in a second. Um, that's funny. I didn't know about that. Uh, because I know kind of some of Vex's tricks, I can be a little bit more prepared. Uh, I don't feel it's cheating. I watched his YouTube videos. That's, that's it. Um, okay, so... I've got to explain this. 
this little area is a reference to Zisto, who was one of the beta testers of the map, and somebody, the, the person I watched play through this map, uh, and he tunneled. Uh, he tunneled a lot. Uh, he came up right here, uh, which we're going to see where that goes, and he would tunnel through here. And basically, he likes using fences for dealing with cave spiders. And so Vex left that kind of stuff in the map, how he did it, uh, as a little bit of a reference. And this is it. Uh, Shuck it, spider. And Zestonian battle sign level 3. Always check for traps. We get some man pants and a level 3 Zestonian battle sign, which is pretty good. Fire aspect 1, knockback 2, sharpness 3. It is still a sign, but it's a pretty good sign. Oh, wow. Um, if you could see that, you could make use of it. Alright. That was a creeper just kind of standing there. I really think there's a creeper spawner somewhere around here. Uh, anyways, let's eat because we desperately need that. Um becoming day which is kind of cool even though I don't think we ever see the sky uh, it's kind of neat that you can in fact see the uh, like the the daytime stuff um, due to the the way the game works and all that fun stuff uh, let's go ahead and make some torches and I dump off a bunch of this stuff because we don't need it uh, and that, that's it. Um, we're going to just make some torches. Uh, what's in here? Anything good? Another golden apple. Another steak. Some bricks. Okay. So once again, ooh, those are pretty good golden boots. They're gold, but they're, they're pretty good. Um, but yeah, so once again, we are going to uh, come back for the loot. And... Yeah, we need to get up in this area. Um, now, this isn't the best of ideas, how I'm kind of getting through this, but yeah, that's what I feared. Um, this area. Uh, so this is a gigantic, gigantic place, and we need to go up there. Now, I do believe there's a lot of cool things up there, um, but this is the end of the area. So, uh, yeah, the goal is to make it to the top. You can kind of see there's like little bridges, and it's not going to be fun up there. Um, that's where the wool is. I do know that for a fact. And, yeah, let's do things somewhat right around here. Uh, let's light this all up. And then we're going to make a little bit of a staircase uh, with nice blocks, but not too nice of blocks. You know, we don't want the nicest things. Let's pick up some of the extras that we don't need uh, without making it look completely ridiculous. In fact, I'm going to put that there because it does otherwise. All right, so put those in there. Um, I guess, huh, what do I want to do? I think we might go ahead and end the episode off here and tackle this area next time. I think the first thing we can do is just kind of jump in here. Uh, I don't believe there's any spawners here at the bottom. Um, but there's some light in the middle. There's a bunch of gravel and we need to get to the top somehow. Uh, I think what you're supposed to do, by the way, I've, I've heard, if, if I remember correctly, and I think it's this area, um, Vex absolutely despised, once again the map maker, uh, absolutely despised this area because uh, he had to leave the game running for quite a while for the vines to all grow. Uh, this was before we had options like tick speed and whatnot. And I'm going to be somewhat careful of all of this gravel because if we update it wrong, um, we could have issues. But um, 
assuming there's a trap. I don't think there is, but there could be. Never know. When you kind of anticipate there not being a trap, that's when there's going to be a trap. So yeah, there is a bunch of gravel down here. Um, there's probably some loot somewhere around here to do with said gravel. But, yeah, I'm not really seeing anything that catches my eye other than there's a lot of gravel. Um, so we need to get up there somehow. And I think one of the intended ways is, well, the vines. We use the vines to climb up and up and up. But... I don't know if that's the way we're going to go. Um, we'll see. I don't really want to use ladders because that would be a lot of ladders. And this is a pretty tall area. So I'm not sure how we're going to tackle it. I'm going to think about that. But um, that'll be next time. And I'm going to haul all the loot back to our little base and go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm almost done with this area and then I think I don't actually remember what the, what's in the next area we'll find out soon enough but uh, we're almost done with this area and then we can go from there so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next episode bye